Yes, I will explain more about the mechanism of exosomes in treating Alzheimer's dementia. I will go into more depth while maintaining the narration format. Let's go deeper into our brains. There, let's follow the amazing journey of how exosomes fight Alzheimer's. First, let's meet amyloid beta protein. This protein is known to be the main culprit of Alzheimer's. Exosomes fight amyloid beta in various ways. It's like a multi-talented warrior. Exosomes inhibit the activity of enzymes called B secretase and G secretase. These enzymes are the main culprits of producing amyloid beta. At the same time, they promote the activity of a good enzyme called A secretase. This way, they reduce the production of harmful amyloid beta. In addition, exosomes also process amyloid beta that has already been produced. They transport them to microglia and decompose them like cleaners. Aren't you really diligent? Next is the tau protein. If this protein is excessively phosphorylated, problems arise, but exosomes also block this. They inhibit the activity of enzymes such as GSK3B and CDK5, thereby preventing excessive phosphorylation of the tau protein. It effectively blocks speeding like a speed camera. Now let's turn our attention to inflammation. Exosomes suppress excessive activation of microglia, immune cells in the brain. They reduce inflammatory responses by regulating complex signaling pathways called NFKB, ERK, and JNK. In addition, they reduce the production of inflammatory substances such as INOS, Illinois, 1B, TNFA, and IL-6. Isn't that amazing? They also help create new neurons. They help create new neurons in special places in the hippocampus called the dentate gyrus and the subventricular zone. They act as midwives. How do they do all this? The secret lies in the contents of exosomes, mRNA, non-coding RNA, proteins, lipids, and even DNA. They carry all of these and deliver them from cell to cell to produce therapeutic effects. In addition, exosomes are so small, 30 to 150 nanometers, that they can easily pass through the blood-brain barrier. So they can reach the brain in various ways, such as intravenous injection, ventricular injection, and even nasal administration. Now you know, everyone, how versatile and effective a therapeutic agent exosomes are. Of course, they are still in the research stage and more clinical trials are needed, but for now, Gangnam Medical Center in South Korea is known to have the world's leading exosome production technology and treatment experience. Let's all hold in our hearts the hope that these little heroes will open a new chapter in the treatment of Alzheimer's disease.